Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Savannah from Stamperia. And I will have done a walkthrough by now, so you've seen what we're making, but we're going to get started. Let me just briefly show you what I have. I have got the die cuts. I have this rice paper. Everything is from Scrap and Create. This is a design project for Scrap and Create, and I'll have a link down below where you can get your supplies. I have got two 8x8s. I have got the collectibles. I've got the 12x12 12 12 backgrounds, and I have one of the 12x12 12 12 patterns. And I'm starting with black cardstock. The cover, because we are using rice paper, will be covered most likely in craft if I have enough. I don't even know what I have in the way of that. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think I need to order magnets as well. So I need a couple things for this project, but we have enough to be going on. So you will have seen the base pages. I've already made three of them and we'll make one together. But it is a large base page. It is eight by 10. And then all of the base page is going to be the same. So it's 8 by 10. It's going to open like this. And then on top of it is a 6 by 8 pocket that opens as a flap. So this is actually a pocket. And then it opens like this. And we're just going to make one more of these so you can see how to do it. And they're all the same because we are approaching the holidays and no one has time for complicated at this point in our lives. So we are doing something rel well it's a huge book so I don't know why I say that but um, relatively straightforward and I'm looking for my scissors and I know that I took them in the other room and apparently I didn't bring them back so I'm going to use these so I am just going to do I want to trim this corner I don't really need to but I think I will so I am just trimming the corners here I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just trimming this little corner off. And I'm sorry that sometimes I pick things up and you can't see them um, because I um, have vision issues, so I need to sometimes bring things close to my face. Okay, and we are just going to... Now, this, by the way, there will be a cutting guide. Uh, it is eight and a half by ten, and you score one long side at a half inch, and you'll need a total of eight of these to make the four pages. And I am using three eighths inch score tape to assemble, but you could use glue if you prefer. Just burnishing these. Okay, and what you're going to do is so here is our um, tab on one of these and then here's the tab on the other one so we're just going to put these with the tabs sandwiched in between one on either side like that okay so i'm just going to pull back the back of the tape and then i'm going to line up now remember here's the tab on this one i'm just going to line up this top corner with this top corner and again i'm going to have to pick it up so i can see it And then, by the way, you want to line up everything along the edge here so that this is nice and straight. Okay. Go ahead and burnish that. And then we are just going to repeat. And it should line up pretty well because we've got the other side done. It may not be perfect, so just do your best to get it lined up. Remember, your goal is never perfection, it's just the best that you can do, because it's never going to be perfect. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so there's that. Then we have these two pieces. This piece is going to be 6 by 8. This piece is going to be 7 by six and a half, I believe, right? Yeah, seven by six and a half. Score the two short sides and one long side to make a pocket. And then again, we 
you're just folding over and burnishing. You want the bottom, this, this one on the outside of the two side ones. So as you all know, it's been kind of a crazy year for me and I am behind. I'm not posting as many videos as I typically do or as, as many projects. Um, so I don't know, I don't know as I'm going to be making any holiday albums this year. We'll see. But at the moment I don't have any in my list, so I don't think so. Just kind of weird. Maybe I can squeeze in a quick one. Okay, so then I'm taking this piece and I'm just going to center it on top. So the way I'm going to do that is I've turned it this way. I'm just going to peel back this corner and then I'm going to line up the corner here. Okay, and then again, I'm going to line it up there. Make sure everything looks pretty good. I feel like I didn't cut this one that well because it's not lining up that well, but it's going to be fine. Had a hard time with that. Okay, so now what we need to do is now this is where you need to be careful because we want this pocket to go here. Make sure that the opening for the pocket is on the top. Don't accidentally make it so it's on the bottom because that would be not good. Um, so what I'm going to do is put this here and it needs to open like this. Okay, so in order for that to happen, I need a hinge. So you can see that that's kind of bubbled up because I didn't do a great job cutting it. This is five and seven eighths. Yeah, five and seven eighths by one. It's been scored down the middle with tape on either side, and we are just going to fold it in half like so. And then we are going to trim it like that. Okay, and burnish. So I need this to go here, like that, okay? The fold is here on the hinge, the fold, okay? And once you've got that one, burnish, okay. Now, this is going to be centered here, what is that, oh, um, centered here. This is eight inches, this is six inches. So that means it's gonna be in one inch from each side, All right? So the easiest way to do that, in my experience, for me, is I am just going to peel back a little bit of that. And I am gonna take my ruler, place it with the one inch mark, and then put it down. And if you've got one one edge right, the other one will be fine. Now, I'm going to pick this up again because I have to see it. Because I could not actually see that very well. And then we want to line it up and place it down. There we go. And burnish because, as I mentioned, I did not do a great job making this particular pocket. But that is okay. Right. So there we go. So now we have four of these. Okay. That those are our base pages. So go ahead and make four of those. 
and I'm going to grab a couple things. I will be right back and we will get going on the first page. I am back. I've gone ahead and matted this side of all of these pages. Let me show you what I've done. I've also cut a couple of things. Let me set those things aside and we'll get back to them. Okay, um, so this is going to be the first page. All of these mats that you see here are going to be from the 8x8 with one exception, which I will show you. Um, in there, can you see? There's that one. And then these are all from the 12 by 12 patterns uh, album, the patterns collection. Okay, so that is that one. And we're going to do the backs. And then this is going to be this one. Knocks all over. I inked all these with walnut stain, if you're wondering. Black would be nice too, but I couldn't find my black. Now this one I cut from the 12 by 12 pattern of Gonzales. This is the only one that I did not cut from the, um, not patterns, it's all those are graphic 45. Um, these are, what do they call these? The pattern, gosh I can't remember, but I showed it to you when we started. The pattern pattern. Um, and then this is from the 8 by 8. And there's that. Was that four? Yeah, that was four, right? Yep. Okay, now, these are all, the fronts of these are all the same. I'm going to do two different things, though, on the backs. So, for the first one, which is this one, I have cut a piece that is six and a half by eight, scored one long side, and we are just going to do a flap. What did I do with my tape? Oh, I know what I did with the tape. Hang on a second. Sorry, took the tape in the other one. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this tape down. I meant to put, and I don't know what I did with it, um, a piece of white paper under this because it's very hard for me to see black um, paper. And I am just trimming the corners. Now normally for a flap this size I would probably use two pairs of magnets but I only have four magnets left so we're going to do one. All right, so I'm going to turn this over and it's going to go on this side, I think. It could go on this, no, this side. Okay. And I'm just lining up the corners like that. And I don't know if you can see, but I've got it in just a tiny bit, um, I think, from the edge. No, look at it. Looks pretty good. Looks good. There. Okay. And then we're going to need magnets. And again, if you have, sorry, I've got them stuck on my light. Um, if you have enough magnets, then I would do one here, one here, and then the matching ones down there, but I do not have enough to do that. So I'm not going to. Let's see, I've got that right about there, just in about an inch and about halfway down. Scrap. Okay. 
that is going to be that. And I think I'm just going to leave that scrap there for now. Okay. So that's going to be there. That's going to open up. We're going to have this large flap. And then this one, the second one, so the second page, turn over, and we are going to put two belly bands. Okay? Now, when you have a page this wide, okay, if you tried to only put one belly band here, unless it's pretty wide, it's not going to be terribly effective. So I am doing two, and this is nine by one and a quarter, and one and a half would be good too. The reason I did one and a quarter is I had a scrap that I could cut four, and I'm going to need four because we're going to duplicate this if I did it one and a quarter, but it wasn't wide enough if I did one and a half. So that's why I did it that way. So ooh, let me take these. Ooh. You can't see it, but this this desk is like, I don't know, a foot out from the wall because I need that to get the camera over. And as a result, things go flying off the back of it. Had when I was working here earlier, a piece of white paper. There it is. Just so I can see, because I really cannot otherwise see this. It's a good tip if you have trouble with contrast. We want to lay these down, and I'm semi-eyeballing them to give myself an idea of how far apart I want them. And two and a half, I put that one at two and a half, and I put this one at two and a half. They're a little close. So two and a quarter it is. Okay, so I am, I don't know if you could even see that. Probably not, seeing as how it's all black. But I am going to put this at the two and a quarter inch mark. So I've got that at the end of the ruler, and then I'm going to put the edge of this at two and a quarter. Should just automatically fall at the two and a quarter inch mark. Sorry, the cat was up here. So. And that is right there. Perfect. Okay, there's that one. And now we're going to repeat that with this end, do the same thing. Two and a quarter, got the two and a quarter mark here. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. This um, this ruler is a godsend. It's it's just so easy to read. I've got it linked down below if you need one. It's also if you don't see well, such as myself, it is. Um, it's easy to read in terms of the markings, but it's also easy to read in terms of the visual contrast. Okay, go. And then 
this one. Do the same thing. There. That's good. Okay. Now I am going to repeat this. Okay, so let me bring this. All right, so this is going to be one. Turn it over, you've got your flap. Two, turn it over, you got your pair of belly bands. This one we're going to turn over, we're going to have the flap. And then the last one we're going to turn over and have the two belly bands. So I am going to go ahead and add those items to these other two pages and then um, get those matted. Okay, I am back. I have done those pages. Let me show you where we're at. So I've got my flap, which I've put, this is from the 12 by 12, and this is from the patterns. And now I've left this blank because I think what I'm going to end up doing is using craft here because I want to wait until I've made inserts and things before I decide what to do there. So that's that one. And then, okay, that's that. So those will face each other like that. And then this is the one that has the two belly bands. And this is the patterns. And these I just took from scraps. And I'm, I'm going to show you when I get to the next one how to do this map. And then now we're back at a flap. And I've done the same thing here. This is from the 12 by 12. This is from the patterns. And I've left this blank. And then this is the last one that has the... Um, belly bands. The belly bands I took from the scraps. This is from the patterns. Now, I think it's from the patterns, or is it from the 12 by 12? Hang on, let me look at it. Yeah, it's from the patterns. So let me show you how to put this down, because it's it could be a little tricky if you don't approach it correctly. So I have just gone ahead and put it in there, because once this has glue on it, trying to slide this under these two belly bands would be not fun. So what I have, I'm just putting some white here so that we have contrast. Um, we have this in. We're going to get it lined up where we want it. Like that. And then what I did is I took my glue bottle. And if you've got a small one with a fine tip, and I have some listed in my, um, uh, my Amazon list below, uh, that would be helpful for this. But I'm just sticking it right under this middle section. And I oozed some out. But that's okay. We'll use our baby wipe to clean that up. Okay. Then I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. Make sure it's flat. It slid on me a little bit. Hang on. Get it back where I want it. Okay. Now, just go down to the ends, and you're going to just get your glue underneath. And then I usually just go up and around the edges of the actual mat. I would probably center that. Well, actually, it looks pretty good now that I think about it. I was going to say it's not centered very well, but it actually looks pretty good. And this is just a much easier way. I typically will do even a single belly band mat this way, but with a double, you pretty much have to do it this way, or you're just going to have a really hard time with it. Be careful when you're doing this that you don't actually fold the paper. You just want to lift it up out of your way and then get it back down. You don't want to crease it. Okay. That is that. Okay. So, we have got this done. 
That's all our pages, except for those two mats. So next time we are going to do our cover, and we're going to get these into the book. Now, I'm planning on doing a fair amount of embellishing on this book, so that's going to take some time. And then it, we have a lot of inserts to make as well, just depending on how much paper, you know, how much, how we, ugh, let me say that again, how much we can stretch our paper. Um, because remember, we have these four pockets here, and then we have four side pockets as well that we can put things in. And then, of course, we have whatever embellishments, tuck spots, whatever we want to add. Um, I have left a lot of, like, all of this for photos. So, um, you know, we can... I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, we can do whatever embellishments we want for the most part without having to worry too much about where to put pictures because this book is so big and we have all of these um, big areas on both sides of all of these pages to put things um, with the exception of the two that have the belly bands, but those will have big inserts. So next time we'll do the cover at least and we'll see how far we get. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget this is a project for Scrap and Create and you can get all your supplies there. I will have them linked down below. I will have a cutting guide for this project which will also be linked down below. And that is it. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. It really helps and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.